Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about things that make you look trashy. This is part three. So if you missed the other two parts, go ahead and click on them now. Let's not waste any time because there is simply so much information I must share with you. And a quick disclaimer, if you don't care about looking trashy, then don't watch this video. If you are easily offended, you might not want to watch this video. But for everybody else, you should stay tuned because if you care about elevating yourself, improving yourself, becoming a more elegant or sophisticated individual, there are things you simply must change. Otherwise, you're going to stay exactly as you are. And if that's good enough for you, great. Number one is as an adult, this is a key, okay? As a grown adult, gossiping about people you don't like online. This is very weird behavior. This is very juvenile behavior. Natural, yes, it is very natural to talk about people you don't like, but that's something that you do with close friends, perhaps behind closed doors, if you must. This is not something you do online. Not only, like I said, does it make you look very juvenile, it is very embarrassing for you. And even though you may have a few people who perhaps will become on your side about things, if you will, for lack of a better way to describe it, the rest of the people that see you doing this will think that you are a trashy scumbag because that's what trashy scumbags do. Listen, there is a time and place to perhaps maybe shed some light on an individual, mostly, you know, a public figure, somebody who is honestly and truly a dangerous person just to prevent further harm. There's a difference between an actual researched discussion about somebody versus gossiping like a little schoolgirl, especially when you're in your 40s, 50s, it's very ugly. But even when you're in your 20s and 30s, it makes you look trashy. Speaking of talking and running your mouth, the second thing that makes you look trashy is talking on your mobile phone in the restroom. Why do people do this? Nobody wants to be involved in that circumstance. Seriously. There's nothing else I need to say about that. That's very trashy behavior. Next is pushing your way into the front of lines or crowds. You may have reasons why you believe you are quite literally better than everybody else and deserve to go first. But I assure you that it is extremely trashy to put yourself before others. One thing that is really important to realize if you want a more elegant life is that even though you do have to focus a lot on yourself, scrutinizing yourself and improving yourself, you also need to learn manners. Manners often are all about putting other people before you so that we can all coexist in the most proper, polite way. Something that's worked for centuries. No reason to change it now. Next, I know I already talked about gossiping online, but this is a very specific one and I want to bring more attention to it and it is complaining about your significant other, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be, wife. Okay, usually women do this, but there are some men out there and I've seen it and we've all seen it, but complaining about your significant other online, addressing the problems between you two publicly. There's a difference between maybe some, oh, abuse awareness, content perhaps talking about somebody who in the past did something that maybe you didn't notice the red flags i don't know content that could help somebody but airing out how your husband didn't give you the mother's day that you wanted is very trashy it looks very trashy and you need to deal with that internally if you don't have a close confidant such as you know a best friend or a trusted family member you need to just work it out with your partner because that's the point of a relationship. And this also extends to talking to co-workers about your marital or your relationship issues that you're having or just people that you're not close, honestly extremely close with just because they'll listen. I promise you cannot trust just anybody, okay? And even if they're the sweetest person in the world and they may not have a problem with listening, it does make you look unhinged. It appears and is honestly true in the sense that you do not have self-control, which is trashy behavior. Next is something I never thought I would say, but dressing sexy at family gatherings. Ladies, 
This is you, this is all you. I don't know why this needs to happen at your family events. I don't know why you need to wear the bandage dress, the super, super short mini skirt, the fishnet stockings, thighs, highs, whatever. I don't understand why you feel this is appropriate to wear around your family. Just because your family should not be sexualizing you, you are wearing something that is sexy. So why are you doing this around your uncles, cousins, aunts, brothers, father, mother, regardless of if people react to it or not in your family. The truth is you are making these people uncomfortable and they should be able to feel comfortable around you and it is trashy behavior. Speaking of clothing, the next thing that makes you look trashy is wearing your tourist clothing in at nice events when you're traveling, right? If you're going to the opera, symphonies, ballets, what have you, anything that is meant to be nice, including really nice restaurants that request dress codes just because you may get in some places you won't doesn't mean that's polite if you are planning to experience anything special like that when you're traveling please pack something appropriate otherwise you do look very trashy and it also shows that you do not respect the venue you do not respect the event you do, you do not respect the culture all right and you might not like that, and I think a lot of people get triggered by that, but I am triggered by your socks and sandals at the opera house. And another thing about clothing is, ladies, this is specific to you, um, but wearing the wrong type of clothing that shows your underwear lines, this is not a good look, okay? This is something that would be unheard of in the past, but wearing clothing that is so form-fitting that you can see what type of underwear the outline of your underwear just right there when you're wearing leggings or what have you maybe you shouldn't be wearing leggings out and about maybe you should stick to that in an active setting but if you're going to wear leggings you need to think about wearing the proper undergarments it looks as though you don't know what you're doing when it comes to style and like I said at the beginning if you don't care you don't care but if you do I'm just telling you this is a very trashy look and it doesn't mean you can never be absolved of such a sin. Of course, we all can, we've all made mistakes, but it's something to be aware of, all right? So think about that when you're dressing and maybe invest in a little hand mirror so you can check the back of your outfit just in case. The last one is quite gross, but picking your teeth at the dinner table with a toothpick or floss or whatever it may be. Listen, I mentioned in one of my other videos that blowing your nose at the table makes you look trashy. And just honestly, trashy is just a word to summarize all of this, but a better, maybe a more descriptive version of this is it just is impolite. A little bit careless, it shows that you don't have necessarily, you're not self-aware, okay? It's not about being self-conscious, even though self-consciousness is not a bad thing, it's just obviously can go too far in a negative direction, but self-awareness because the way that other people are perceiving you, it's not just about they think you're good enough, they don't think you're good enough, they think you're worthy or this or that. It doesn't always have to be like that. Sometimes it just shows whether or not you respect other people. And things like blowing your nose at the table, it shows that you don't really respect the people around you having to experience something that, you know, even though it's natural, something gross like that whilst they're eating. And that's the same thing with picking chewed up food from your teeth, if I need to describe that in detail, whilst you're sitting at the table. It's kind of trashy behavior, and honestly, walking around with a toothpick in your mouth does not make you look badass. It's gross, okay? So that is the conclusion for this video. I hope that you were not too triggered, but if you were, let me know down in the comments. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.